My name is Gabriel Kerr. This is the Cherokee River King Baskets. This is the mats that you see on my wall. This pattern here is a snake up and mint pattern. This is made by Edmund Youngbird. It's dyed with walnut, as you see right there. The name of the pattern is the Dalton Field type pattern. It's a Mississippian pattern. It's well known between uh, tribes like the Chittimacha, the Choctaw, Cherokee, Creek, uh, other tribes like that. That was before European contact. It's one of the oldest patterns that we have. As long as you see that here, these are more modern day baskets that are being made. Uh, the sizes that are being made here were by basket makers in about 1930s, 1940s, all the way up to the 1980s and 90s. As you can see on the wall here, it gives you a demonstration of how the rib can grows, how it's different from bamboo. As you can see on the shucks on it right there, that shows that it's too young, but it eventually will grow up and age to be able to use. As you right there, it says the stems grow from a large network of tough, thick rum zones that varies in size from 7.5 inches in diameter. <coughs> what we typically use is like to be about size of your thumb, mostly like the size that you see right here. We got the stress pieces came up and fine and they're best up in halves. You can kind of see the inner membrane of that cane right there. And um, you typically like to have a foot to two feet in diameter distance from the cane. That way we won't have to fool around with the joints so much. Um, what makes this cane very unique from bamboo is that when you work it up, uh, it won't separate and break like bamboo does. Uh, I hear when they talk about earth cane, it's very valuable in um, ecological studies because it actually filters water and cleans it out. Uh, not only that, we always put our villages near where earth cane patches were. Uh, some of the designs that you'll see here is like this one right there, that one's the star of the mountain. Same as uh, this one, it's filled crosses, another star on the mountain. A good example of Snake on the Limb, that was made by Edmund Youngbird. And right here, you can see one made by um, Lottie Stamper. This one is a man in a coffin. And then the next one that you have right here, we call the Peace Pipes design. And then on this one, you have the Stairway to Heaven, the Noonday Sun, Field of Crosses, uh, Chief Daughter's Heart, and uh, that one broke, uh, Broken Friendship in that one. This one's an example of a man in a coffin. Then you got this one, which is the double piece pipe design. And you can kind of see how it was made by Ron Raina Bradley, which is one of the master basket makers that we have in this area. Next you have the diagonal style weaving. It's kind of where they take the design of a double weave and put into a single weave. Copy that same pattern that you put on to get the double weave to work. The style of the rim that we use is made out of hickory, hickory lacing. At the top of it has the rib cane wrapping on it. So back right here on the wall, this is an example of a wall mat. These are made with the sampler designs. Uh, wall mats are used for windows, uh, walls, uh, insulation, bed mats, all kinds of different things. This would probably be an example of a barrel mat if that's how those want to be used. Um, this is more of a 1980s, 1990s kind of design going on. Uh, it was used for people to decide if they wanted to buy another mat or basket. It's just a sampler of the different designs that we have.